Springfort High School is proud to bring you Episode 6 of the Tradition of Excellence. This month's interview brings you Frankfurt alumni Eric Woods from the class of 1991. Mr. Woods explains how he went from sweeping the parking lot to the general manager of his family-owned grocery store. He also talks about how his experience at, at Frankfurt High School led him to get involved in local government. I hope you enjoy. Hello, hot dogs. Welcome back to Tradition of Excellence, episode six. Today, I'm here with Eric Woods, uh, class of 91. Uh, welcome, thank you for uh, coming in. <laughs> thank you, pleasure to be here. Yeah, um, so a couple of questions for you. First thing is, what were you involved in in high school? In high school, well, I was did general studies and um, I had an interest in science and math. I had intended on going to uh, some school for engineering or trade work. So I was also involved in uh, the industrial trades here, uh, electricity, metals and such. And I did end up going to uh, Purdue, was in their freshman engineering program to begin with. So I felt like the uh, science and the math here at Frankfurt helped me prepare for that. I had a fair amount of work once I got there, but um, I did not do any sports while I was here primarily focused on work and, and general studies. Hmm. Right. Uh, how would you say that what you did in high school uh, and early college prepared you for what you do now? Um, I think that since I work with people on a regular basis in the two jobs that I do, I am the uh, general manager of Shoals Market here in town and I'm also on the Frankfurt City Council. I'd say that uh, my high school career allowed me to develop interpersonal relationships, know how to talk to people, uh, know how to problem solve, and um, I, I, I had a lot of fantastic teachers. Uh, Mr. Shepard was my favorite teacher back in the day. He was my government teacher, and I will credit him somewhat for me eventually becoming part of local government. Um. Uh, could you go a little more in detail about what it is you do now? Yeah, yeah. So uh, my family um, owns and operates Shoals Market, formerly Shoals IGA, and it has been my family's business since, oh, the late 70s. Uh, my grandpa bought in with the original owner, Fred Shoals, in 1968, and it's been my family since the late 70s. So I am the third generation, and I'm the general manager now, and, um, you know, we're a locally owned and operated independent store. Um, we just serve as a, a neighborhood grocery store, try to provide customer service uh, at, at a higher level than maybe you would get at some of the bigger box stores and, and also try to do things with, with perishable foods that you don't always see in some of the bigger stores. So I have been the manager there for a number of years, got my start when I was just a kid sweeping the parking lot. So rose through all the ranks there. and. Uh, and I became a uh, Frankfurt City Councilman in 2007, and I have continued that up till now, running for my fourth term this year. Um, City Council has a lot of uh, interesting responsibilities. We are the legislative and the fiscal branch of local government, so that means that we basically set budgets and work with the taxpayers' money and provide that for the executive branch, which is primarily the mayor to spend it on, on the services that are rendered through the city. And then legislative means that we uh, are in control of the ordinances here in town. So the number of bags of trash you can put out or how, what your property has to look like, things like that. Um, so yeah, I've really enjoyed that, enjoyed working with the public all these years. And then uh, through that, I've also been involved in several philanthropic organizations such as United Way and Healthy Communities, just trying to give back to the community that's given me so much. All right, one last question. If you could go back and tell your 16-year-old self one thing, what would you tell yourself? My 16-year-old self? Probably drive slower so I don't get as many speeding tickets, but... Uh, no, I would say that uh, studying hard and really buckling down is well worth the time and effort now because 
you want to do good in these years that you have in school to, to kind of set you on the right path. I will say that I wish I would have done a little bit better. It would have made uh, the college experience a, a little bit easier. Um, but uh, it is so easy to get involved in, you know, things outside of school and, you know, what's fun and such. But, uh, yeah, I probably would have studied harder. I, uh, I think I probably would have done some sports outside of junior high, middle school. Um, I, I likely would have continued. I, I really like track and field, but I didn't do that because I worked part-time. So if I had to go back, I would probably not work as much, be a little bit more involved in school, and, and definitely study harder because now I know that that is an investment in your future. So certainly that. All right. Well, thank you. That's all we have. Uh, thank you so much for coming in and letting us interview you. Well, thank you. I appreciate being here.